Hello, good evening. Oh my God, so early on time, Tony. <laughs> good evening, teacher. Good Thank evening. You. Okay, so how are you? How do you feel today? What about your day? How was it? Very good. I feel very, very happy because my work I, is a, is an activity that I love it. Mm -hmm. And it was in different um poblados, uh, a different towns in Chalatenango. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, um uh until the um, the border with Honduras. Oh. So, so far. Um, searching opportunity for, for sales and, and that was mm -hmm. very interesting. But Okay. That is good, okay? I think that that is excellent because you enjoy what you do, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Good evening, Maris. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Maris? Uh, not bad. Not bad. What about your day? How was it? Good, so so, relaxing, tiring, very busy. Very busy. Very busy. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. I'm driving. Okay. Thank you, Atilio. Uh, okay. Moment. I uh, will be listening, please. Okay, perfect. Yes, of course. All right, guys. Oh, so are you a taxi driver? Only driving. <laughs> Not, oh, sure. not, Tony. Let's go. <laughs> okay, yeah. So Atelier is always driving. It, that is true. Okay. Well, let's start with today's class, guys. Um, today we are going to actually um it is going to be a relaxing class. Okay, it's not going to be that difficult. So, guys, we are going to start uh with today's agenda, and today we have uh the warm-up, and we also have the topic, which is going to be the third conditional review. Okay, I think that we need to make a review on that. So um, you can have this topic um, more clear. Yes, then we are uh, we are going to have listening quizzes. Uh, we have one grammar quiz about the third conditional. So you can put into practice what you learned. And we also have a speaking time and the wrap up, okay? So we are going to start with the warm up. And as a warm up, we have a short reading. Pay attention to the reading because we have the third conditional on this reading, okay? So help me read in the first paragraph, uh, Tony, then Maris, and Tony, the last okay. paragraph, okay? Go, guys. Okay. Once upon a time, there was a young man named Alex who had a big dream of becoming a famous musician. He loved playing the guitar and writing song, but he was too afraid to perform in front of the audience. One day, he saw a poster for a talent show at the local music club. He talked about participating, but convinced himself that he would never win. He let fear hold him back, and he didn't ever didn't. Evan Trudy. Uh, year le later, Alex saw a video of the talent show on the in internet. internet. Mm -hmm. To his surprise, the winner was a mediocre, mediocre singer who had not real passion for music. Mm -hmm. I felt a pound of regret. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Realizing that is he had taken the chance and the performance of the show. Mm -hmm. He may have won. Mm -hmm. He often wondered how his life would have been different is the is the had overcome his fear and the participate uh, he knew what is he had performed that day. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. She would have pain, condition, um, but valuable experience with my have a uh, propeller his music career forward. Forward. Uh -huh. Now, Next. Alex uses this experience as a valuable lesson. He learned that he should have taken the opportunity and given it his best shot. He knows that if he had done so, he could have a, 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 a achieved Achieve, achieve mm -hmm. his dream of becoming a successful musician. Mm -hmm. The story of Alex served as a reminder that in life we shall never let fear or doubt hold us back. Sometimes, sometimes taking a chance and trying is the only way to achieve our dreams and aspirations. Yes. Okay. So in this case, it says, okay, look at this, guys. Basically, this reading, okay, is about a person that in this case, he didn't take the opportunity, right? So once upon a time, there was a young man named Alex who had a big dream of becoming, de convertirse, yes, a famous musician. Mm -hmm. He loved playing the guitar and writing songs, but he was too afraid to perform in front of an audience. Imagine, he was scared. One day he saw a poster for a talent show at a local music club. He thought about participating, but convinced se convenció a él mismo, convinced himself that he would never win. He let fear hold him back. Dejó que el miedo lo detuviera, que okay? lo parara. He let fear hold him back. And he didn't even try. Imagine, he didn't even try. Years later, Alex saw a video of that talent show on the internet. To his surprise, para su sorpresa, to his surprise, the winner was a mediocre singer who had no real passion for music. Alex felt a pang of regret. What is that, um, that expression? What does it mean? A pang of regret. It's like saying, guys, uh huh. Mm, como, un, como, un, como un recuerdo de. De arrepentirse. Uh -huh. Yes. O como un sentimiento de arrepentimiento, pero no estoy seguro. Yes, it is, it is that. Okay? Es como un, un gran eh, arrepentimiento. Yes, a pan of regret. A pan es como punzada. Yes, entonces Alex felt a pan of regret. Alex sintió un gran arrepentimiento. A pan of regret. Realizing that if he had taken the chance and performed at the show, he might have won. He often wondered Siempre que dice, he often wondered. Él a menudo se preguntaba how his life would have been different if he had overcome his fear and participated. Third conditional. Yes. He knew that if he had performed that day, third conditional, if he had performed that day, he would have gained confidence and valuable experience. Experiencia, experiencia valiosa, yes? Which might have propelled his music career forward, okay? Hubiese eh, propagado, right? Yes, hubiese incrementado, okay? Eh, propulsado, impulsado. Su carrera. 
Now, Alex uses this experience as a valuable lesson, valuable, valuable lesson. He learned that he should have taken the opportunity and given its best, it his best shot. He knows that if he had done so, he could have achieved, el pudo haber alcanzado, achieved, logrado. His dream of becoming a successful musician. Yeah. So the story of Alex serves as a reminder that in life, we should never let fear or doubt hold us back. Sometimes taking a chance and trying is the only way to achieve our dreams and aspirations. Okay. So as you can see, we have the third conditional right here. Yes. And if you notice, we use the third conditional to talk about past. Yes. Past. So now let's recall what is the third conditional. What is the third conditional, guys? Do you remember when to use the third conditional? And if not, can you please help me reading this information, eh, Carla? For regret. Okay, for regret. Thank you, Jonathan. Yes, right? So Carla, help us reading the definition that we have right there. Hello. Hello. Uh, the third conditional. The third conditional also known as the past Unreal, conditional, or the past? Hypothetical. 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 Hypothetical, conditional. Mm -hmm. If a die type of conditional sentence used to, used to express imaginary or unreal situations in the past, yes. it is used to talk about hypothetical. Hypothetical. I, hypothetical events and mm -hmm. imagined a consequence that did not actually happen in the past. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, guys. So the third conditional is also known as the past unreal conditional. Why? Because, okay, Nelly, why? Because it expresses different things or sentences which are imaginary or unreal in the past, in the past, yes? So we use it to talk about hypothetical events and their uh, Im imagined consequences that did not actually happen in the past. Okay, let's see. Now, guys, um, we have the condition and we also have the result. Yes, we have condition and we have result. So as you remember, we have two parts in the sentence. We have two sentences and we join that sentence with a comma if we start with the clause if, yeah? So we have condition right here and we have if. This is the condition, if. So we have if I, if, I had studied English before, the sentence that is the condition sentence goes with if, and it is the one where we use past perfect. If I had studied English before, comma, I would have, would have, plus the past participle, and we explain the result of this condition. I would have applied for an international job. Yes, if I had studied English before, I would have applied for an international job. But my present, okay, my present is different. According to this sentence, my present is different. Right. I don't know English. That's why I have not applied for an international job. But you imagine this is something hypothetical. Yes. Something that you didn't do. But you imagine the result if you had done that action. What would have happened? Right. So in this case, um, 
more examples. We have the result and we also have the condition. We have the other way around, as you can see on those examples. So we just switch the sentence. You just switch the sentence. So we start with would have in this case, I would have told Mary if I had seen her. But that means that I didn't see Mary. That's why I didn't tell her because I didn't see her. That didn't happen, right? So I would have invited her if Natasha had been free yesterday. That means that Natasha was not free yesterday. So I couldn't, I didn't invite her. You imagine, yes? And then we also have their teacher would have been sad if they had not hadn't passed their exam. So that means that the students pass the exam. Uh -huh. Mary would never have left him. Look at this. Mary would never have left him if Jim had been more soft hearted. What is the meaning of soft hearted? Any idea, guys? Any synonym that we can use for soft hearted? Uh -huh. Tiene que ver algo con el corazón, pero... Yes. Uh -huh. um, uh -huh. In this case, soft hearted uh -huh. is a person that is a sensitive, that is polite, that is not rude. That means that Jim was kind of rude because Maria would never have left him if Jim had been more soft hearted. My a person that is like no sé cómo se dice gentil or, or like gentleman like the Briton. Like kind. Uh -huh. Kind. Correct. Uh -huh. Soft hearted is a person that is kind, that is polite, that is sensitive. Right, that is empathetic, that is sympathetic. Uh -huh. So Jim was not, was not polite, was not kind, was not sympathetic, was not empathetic. And that's actually the a result. Mary left him, okay? Now we also have a, some uh, examples, okay? But pay attention to this, guys. Look at this. It says, we have a sentence in simple past. It says, the Titanic hit an iceberg and sank. Now we need to transform that sentence in simple past to the third conditional. Yeah? So the Titanic hit an iceberg and sank. This was a fact, yeah? But now in the third conditional, we need to create a hypothetical sentence, okay? So if, if the Titanic hadn't, had not, if the Titanic hadn't hit an iceberg, it wouldn't have, sunk, past part of sank. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So in this case, on this one, we are saying, okay, this is just the normal sentence, simple pass. So el Titanic, ¿qué pasó? Golpeó un iceberg. ¿Y qué pasó? Se hundió. Sí. Yeah, it sank. But now we need to 
create a sentence with the third conditional. ¿Qué hubiese pasado si eso no hubiese sucedido? Entonces venimos. If the Titanic, si el Titanic, hadn't, no hubiese hit an iceberg, it wouldn't have, no se hubiese hundido. We imagine something that actually didn't happen. Porque la, la realidad fue distinta. Uh -huh. Now we also have another example. Okay. He stayed in the sun too long yesterday. And got sunburned. That's the fact. That happened yesterday. Yeah, but now let's create a sentence using the third conditional, imagining something different. So if he hadn't stayed in the sun too long yesterday, he wouldn't have got sunburned. Hmm. Past participle. Teacher, but the past participle is not gotten. Yes, you can use got or you can use gotten. It's okay. Um, why we can use in this case the two options, got and gotten? You can always use got or gotten. Okay, okay. All the yes, time. Okay. Always, yes, always. Yes. Got or gotten. Okay. Okay, guys. You um, see the difference? So we have one sentence, like in simple past, a fact, something that happened. And then we use the third conditional to imagine a different thing. Okay. Then let's move. And um, yes, let's continue with this one. Okay. It says, he arrived late and missed the train. That is a fact. That happened. He arrived late and missed the train. Let's imagine something different. If he hadn't arrived late, he wouldn't have missed the train. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So in this case, si él no, si él no hubiese llegado tarde, Él no hubiese perdido el tren. But actually, it was something different. The reality was that he arrived late and missed the train. Okay. So now it's your turn. I'm going to give you the sentence in simple past, and you are going to give me the sentence using the third conditional. Okay. So the fact is, she forgot her umbrella and got wet. Now let's create the sentence huh? using the third condition. If she mm -hmm. forget past perfect, remember that the characteristic uh -huh. of the uh, conditional number three. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. If she had, let me see, let me uh, let me go there. Okay, uh, I'm going to help you guys. Okay, let's see. Okay, so we have the subject, and first of all, the condition, which is if. If she, uh -huh. past perfect. If she has, has forgotten, forgotten uh -huh. if she had forgotten, okay. If she ha hadn't forgotten. Okay, 
So if she hadn't, okay, forgotten. She hadn't forgotten her umbrella. Her umbrella. Her umbrella. Uh -huh. She wouldn't have. She wouldn't have. She wouldn't have. Got wet. She wouldn't have got wet. wet. Or gotten wet. Yeah, or gotten wet. Okay, gotten or got. Okay. All right, guys, look at this. Okay, I need to pay attention to this. Remember, it is always past perfect. Never hasn't, never haven't. It is always hadn't or had. Yeah. And here is always would have or wouldn't have. Never would has or would, wouldn't has. Never. It doesn't matter the subject. It is always this part and this one, okay? Always, always, always. Okay, let's continue with this one. She drank so much coffee yesterday, coma, she couldn't sleep last night. Give me a conditional sentence. Imagine something different. Okay. Hmm. If, if, okay, if she, mm -hmm. not, she had not drunk. If she had not passed participle of drunk. Drunk? Uh, it is drunk. If she had not drunk so much coffee yesterday, uh -huh. the consent using would have. She would she have within a sleep. She would, she would have she slept last night. She would have slept last night. Mm -hmm. Okay, so look at this. She drank so much coffee yesterday, okay? Ella bebió mucho café ayer. ¿Qué pasó cuando ella bebió mucho café? Ella no pudo dormir. No pudo. Ahora con el tercer condicional, primero que nada tenemos que imaginarnos la situación. ¿Qué hubiese pasado si ella no hubiese hecho lo que hizo? If she hadn't drunk so much uh, coffee yesterday, si ella no hubiese bebido mucho café ayer, ella hubiera dormido. She would have slept last night. Hmm? So, don't forget that is the past perfect. It's past perfect, the one that we need to use. Past perfect. And if we use past perfect, we need to use past participle. In the second sentence, is always would have plus the past participle of the verb. Hmm? Don't forget about that. Okay. Let's see with this one. Simple past sentence. They worked so hard, they passed their exams. What would have happened if they hadn't done that? ¿Qué hubiese pasado si ellos no hubiesen hecho lo que se dice acá? Condicional. If they hurt so hard. If they hadn't. Hadn't work. If they hadn't worked. 
So her. Her. They will have. They would have. Have class the exam. Their exams, okay. Aquí dice, si ellos no hubiesen trabajado ar arduo, ellos hubieran pasado el examen. O sonaría mejor, si ellos no hubiesen trabajado arduo, no hubiesen pasado el examen. They would not have. They wouldn't have. Porque si ellos no hubiesen hecho esto, entonces no hubiesen pasado el examen. Uh -huh. Si ellos no hubiesen trabajado arduo, estudiado arduo, no hubiesen pasado el examen. Ok. What questions do you have? ¿Qué pregunta tiene? What doubts do you have about this? Preguntas antes de hacer el examen que tenemos del condicional. What questions do you have? Let me go back. Okay? What questions do you have with the third conditional? The third conditional, guys, is the one that we use. In Spanish, we use it a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Si me hubieses hecho caso, no te hubiese pasado eso. Si me hubieses escuchado, no te hubiese pasado eso. Si hubiese tenido dinero, lo habría comprado. Si hubiese sido más paciente, hubieses tenido esa oportunidad. We use the third conditional a lot in Spanish. But what you need to remember is the structure. La estructura never, jamás, va a cambiar. Del condicional 3, así como todos los demás condicionales. No cambia su estructura. So, the third conditional, toda la vida va a utilizar el pasado perfecto y va a utilizar would have plus the past participle. Así como está detallado aquí, la oración que va con if siempre va a ser la del pasado perfecto. Y la segunda oración siempre va a ser la de would have. La confusión puede aparecer Ok, so you can have probably that confusion cuando usted ve la oración al revés. ¿Qué quiere decir al revés? Como estos ejemplos. Que comenzamos con would have y el if va en segundo plan. Entonces, en este caso puede aparecer una confusión, pero usted no tiene que confundirse porque... Siempre la oración que va después, en este caso la que le sigue a if, es la que va a ir con el pasado perfecto. Toda la vida la que le sigue a if, no a la que está antes, sino que a la que le sigue a if. Y por ende la primera en este caso, uh, goes with would have. So now, ¿tiene alguna variante en el significado? No. Es lo mismo. I would have told Mary if I had seen her. Yo le hubiese dicho a Mary si yo la hubiese visto. Ahora hagámoslo empezando con if. If I had seen her, I would have told Mary. Si yo la hubiese visto, le hubiese dicho a Mary. No tiene una variante alguna. Tiene el mismo significado en el condicional 3. Yes. So, what you need to remember is that 
Mm -hmm. Do you have any question? Do you have any doubt? Something that is not clear, something that you do not get. Okay, is everything clear? When it comes to grammar, of course, right? When it comes to grammar. Yes, okay. Yes. All right, so we are going to take um, a quiz of 10 questions and it is about the third conditional, yeah? So if you don't have any question, let's take the quiz, but I hope to see 100 only, okay? because we don't have any question. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, all right. So let's see, let's take this quiz and you can use the presentation, okay, and the structure so you can have good scores. Um, the passcode, the passcode is conditionals. Así, conditionals. Capital letters, letras mayúsculas, conditionals. Okay, guys, I'll give you a couple of minutes so you can work on that. I will share this screen so you can see the structure. They're conditional. Solamente estamos hablando del condicional tres, no hay otro. Okay, so uh, I'll give you a couple of minutes, okay? Let me see, I'll give you eight minutes.
Okay, thank you, Nathan. All right, guys, um, let me see. I think that uh, you all got good scores, okay? 
Yes, I see that some of you got 100, 90, 80. Okay. Mm, let me see. Okay. Do you have any question? No? Okay. So let's take the listening quiz, the first one, okay? Let me see if Here, I, I have one. And, and uh, I trail one, one answer. Oh, yes. Let me see. Um, it's the last one, the number 10. Uh, I choose will have you because the structure is will have, but I forgot to see the um, interrogation signal at the end. And in this case, mm. to complete or to, to make sense the order of the question, I need to start when, with, will you have, right? Correct. Is, uh -huh. That's why, uh -huh. Because when you say that the always the structure is will have, and you make a, um, uh, you, como que remarcó, you remarked the, 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 the conditional in the structure of the of the sentence. Mm -hmm. You say that you may always put hers, she'll have or she'll not have mm -hmm. and the, before the comma. And if the, the sentence starting if we need to use have for the 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 um, she he it or mm -hmm. uh, have to the others the, the other as um no 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 um the, the other persons yes that is correct mm -hmm. in this case is the, the signal of the interrogation at the end that make the the switch the will have and will you have yes correct so it is the punctuation mark and the punctuation mark. Okay, thank uh -huh. you. Yes, that is correct. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, all right, guys. I'm going to send the link for the listening. Oh, yeah, I sent it already, right? And the passcode uh, is listening. Let me see if I'm able to play this listening because it's different from the other ones. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. Let me know if you're able to, to hear. Okay. Let me see. After many years of research, scientists have been able to determine that second hand. Yes. Yes. All right. So, yes, guys. Um, on this quiz, you only have two questions. Pay attention. I'm going to play it uh, two times, but if you need an extra time, so I'm going to play it again. And at the end of the of the listening, she is going to uh, say the first question. Okay, she's going to mention the first question, the one that you see right there. Okay, so let's see. Smoke is just as. Okay, one, two, three. After many years of research. Scientists have been able to determine that secondhand smoke is just as dangerous as firsthand smoke. You may ask yourself, what is secondhand smoke? If you live with a smoker or are surrounded by people who smoke, then you are already at risk. Secondhand smoke is the cause of many diseases, from lung cancer to heart disease. Children who live with a smoker have higher rates of colds and flu. Tonight's program will be looking in depth at this increasing epidemic. Who is at risk of the dangers of secondhand smoke? Okay. Okay, here we go with the second time, right? After many years of research, 
Scientists have been able to determine that secondhand smoke is just as dangerous as firsthand smoke. You may ask yourself, what is secondhand smoke? If you live with a smoker or are surrounded by people who smoke, then you are already at risk. Secondhand smoke is the cause of many diseases, from lung cancer to heart disease. Children who live with a smoker have higher rates of colds and flu. Tonight's program will be looking in depth at this increasing epidemic. Who is at risk of the dangers of secondhand smoke? Okay. Do you need me to play it once again? Yes. Okay. Here we go. After many years of research, scientists have been able to determine that secondhand smoke is just as dangerous as first-hand smoke. You may ask yourself, what is second-hand smoke? If you live with a smoker or are surrounded by people who smoke, then you are already at risk. Second-hand smoke is the cause of many diseases, from lung cancer to heart disease. Children who live with a smoker have higher rates of colds and flu. Tonight's program will be looking in-depth at this increasing epidemic. Who is at risk of the dangers of secondhand smoke? Okay. Okay, I can see that most of you got both correct. Okay, excellent. Now let's take the last one. Okay, let me send the link. There you go. And the passcode is the same. Listen. And let me let me get the the audio. So this is also two questions. Pay attention to this one, okay? Okay, so here we go. I'm going to play it twice, but if you need the uh, third time, let me know. The factory is located in the hills. Temperatures may fall very low in the evenings. It is therefore advisable to carry some warm clothing. In fact, the weather forecast predicts some frost tomorrow morning. This is unusual for this time of year, but we've had much of that before. What is this advice about? Okay. Here we go again, okay? The factory is located in the hills. Temperatures may fall very low in the evenings. It is therefore advisable to carry some warm clothing. In fact, the weather forecast predicts some frost tomorrow morning. This is unusual for this time of year, but we've had much of that before. What is this advice about? Would you like me to play it again? Yes. Okay. Here we go. The factory is located in the hills. Temperatures may fall very low in the evenings. It is therefore advisable to carry some warm clothing. In fact, the weather forecast predicts some frost tomorrow morning. This is unusual for this time of year, but we've had much of that before. What is this advice about? I was so confused that he's talking about the weather in the factory or the weather in general. 
the weather in general. Yes. Uh, in number three, uh, password, please. The passcode? Um, um, number three. The last one, the one that I, that I sent? Oh, yes. yes. Listen. Open it. Yes. Okay, I'm going to play it again, okay, for Wendy. Okay, Wendy, here we go. Okay. The factory is located in the hills. Temperatures may fall very low in the evenings. It is therefore advisable to carry some warm clothing. In fact, the weather forecast predicts some frost tomorrow morning. This is unusual for this time of year, but we've had much of that before. What is this advice about? Okay, Wendy. The last time, okay? La última vez, Wendy. The factory is located in the hills. Temperatures may fall very low in the evenings. It is therefore advisable to carry some warm clothing. In fact, the weather forecast predicts some frost tomorrow morning. This is unusual for this time of year, but we've had much of that before. What is this advice about? Do you need me to play it again, Wendy? Or are you ready? Yes, teacher. Ready? Yes. Okay. All right. So let me let me see. Um okay. Um was that difficult, guys? I think that this yes. was yes, Very this difficult. was difficult. This was difficult, I think. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't worry. It's different from the other ones that we have been taking, right? So it will be different. Okay, I'm going to take the attendance right now. All right. Um, okay, so let me see. Atilio Ernesto Castillo. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carlos Omar Linares Cañas. Carlos Omar. Carlos Vladimir Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present teacher. Thank you. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present yes. Thank you. Fátima Gabriela Loza Castillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Jonathan José González Domínguez. Present yes. Thank you. Jorge Antonio Sánchez Quiñones. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Fernando Bernardo López Montes, sorry. Present. Thank you. Juan Antonio Elías Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan José Herrera Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Sofía Argueta Chévez. Present. Thank you. Kenia Elizabeth Rodríguez Celaya. Present teacher. Thank you, Kenia. Luis Miguel Corbera Enríquez. Present teacher. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you, Maurice. Mayra Cecilia Peña de Aparicio. Present teacher. Thank you. Nelly Lilibeth Andrade García. Present. Thank you. Raúl Antonio Jordán Miranda. Sandra Abigail Bonilla Cano. Wendy Marisela Ramírez Guevara. Wendy? Present teacher. Yes, thank you. Okay. Um, all right, guys. So let Ay, me. Sorry, mal. Okay, don't worry. Okay. Okay. Don't worry. Okay. So you are going to. <laughs> okay. Uh, guys, let's continue. Okay, let's continue. And we are going to focus on speaking right now. 
yes, as speaking. So we are going to practice with uh, different questions. We have different questions today. The first questions that we are going to practice with are the following. Why do some people find it hard to make decisions? Why do you think that happens? Mm -hmm. Why do some people find it hard to make decisions? Number two, how important is it to get advice from other people when making decisions? Is that important or no? Why? Support your opinion and your ideas. Then why is it sometimes difficult to accept advice? Why? Support your opinion, okay? Then we are going to move to the other ones. We have different. What are some of the most important decisions young people have to make? Okay. Do you agree that parents should make important decisions for their children? Talking about people or yes, people under 18 years old. Is it better to make a decision thinking about what you want or thinking about what other people want? Support your opinion. Okay, give examples. And then you move to the other ones. Yes. And we're going to talk about, about our country. What is our country famous for, guys? What is your favorite kind of weather and why? Is there any type of weather you really don't like, etc.? We have different questions, but I want you to please start with those and please give examples, okay? Try to use a different words that you don't uh, commonly use, phrases, okay? Um, so if you don't know a word, try to look it up on the dictionary, guys. Yeah, open the dictionary and, and, and search, right? So let me create the breakout rooms. Okay, let's practice. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. The first question. Uh, why yeah. does why do some people find it hard? <laughs> find it hard to make decisions. Mm -hmm. I I think maybe Adopters because depend the life the other person. Some things. Mm. In my case, for me, I think uh, that the people. He, he don't know. He doesn't? He doesn't know topic. Could be. Yes, it could be that it could be difficult could sometimes be. because you don't know the topic or you don't know, I mean, uh -huh, you don't know maybe the, the possible outcome. What is the meaning of outcome, guys? Outcome. outcome. Outcome means resultado. So maybe sometimes you don't 
know the outcome. And that is why it's difficult to make a decision because uh -huh. you don't know the outcome and you are afraid of making mistakes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. What else? Okay, give examples, okay? When when is it hard to make decisions? When? Give me give me um some scenarios in which it's very difficult to make a decision or hard. Maybe when you need to invest in invest buy or, or for example a new house, new car. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think that that is difficult mm -hmm. because sometimes, I mean, uh -huh. go. Yes, yes. Yes, go, go, Emerson. Continue. <laughs> um, when we need to invest the money, mm -hmm. we need to thinking about the results or the outcome. The outcomes. The the outcomes yes that is true and you need to be careful right whenever you are going to invest you need to be really careful with money mm -hmm. yes that is true okay what else the other could be when i lot of money is at the stake Cuando hay mucho juego en dinero, dinero mucho. Oh, yes, ajá. Um, yes, I think that with money, it is hard to make a decision with money. You yeah. know, um, another hard decision maybe is when you need to, um, probably when you are going to apply to another job, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That one is a hard decision because you don't know if the other company is going to be yeah. better, right? Yeah. Or if it is something that is not true, right? I don't know. Yeah, okay. uh -huh. It depends the, the pace. It depends the pace. The on, the payment. The, uh, on the payment. On the payment. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm. All right. Maybe, uh -huh. Go. maybe the people... Uh, Find uh -huh. hard make decision because uh, uh, they um, they had a uh, afraid. Oh, they are lost. They are afraid. Lost. <laughs> oh, they are afraid of losing. Losing. They are afraid. Of losing. <laughs> you know, and I think that most of the time that is um something that prevents people from taking decisions, right? The fear because they are afraid. That is true. Another hard decision could be when you uh when you are going to move alone, when you are going to live alone. If you want to get married, right? That is a hard decision sometimes. You need to think about everything. Uh, maybe whenever you are going to probably have a credit card, hard decision, right? Uh, maybe another hard decision is if you want to study something else, right? If you want to start the university or if you want to move to another university, right? Or if you want to study something or the other thing, right? So those are hard decisions. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, continue with number two. Try to, to get more and more information from every question, right? Not only go straight forward, Yes, Talk no. about the question. Uh -huh, no, no, okay. like that, no, okay? Yes. Okay. Okay, number two, how important is 
character, pero de carácter. Teacher, how would you say yeah. character of the other people? Uh, the personality or the character? Uh -huh. The personality, the personality of of the a lot of uh the other people because in you married you you be you are you are no you are a, a very very exciting people but probably the the other guys are so boring they are so so serious and then the advice is no probably is not good for that person Character de, de la personalidad puede ser personal nature, maybe, teacher. El carácter de la Yo, personalidad. Ajá, cuando usted dice tiene un carácter fuerte o es de carácter difícil, es maybe es personal nature o or, or personal character. Human nature. Personal nature. Nature. Okay. Nature. Nature. Uh -huh. But um, cuando es una persona como de carácter fuerte uh -huh. Bueno, dependiendo, pero describiendo el carácter de la persona de ¿Cómo se dice el carácter de una persona? For example, if we want to say um, uh, um, Saúl, ok, for example, a name uh -huh. Saúl is a tough person That is carácter tough. fuerte, tough Tough. Mm -hmm. but or when you the character this is tough but character. when you mention the type of character maybe it's a, a fable character maybe it's a happy character is right to say that way. people mm, yes okay but you need to say for example he has a good character or she has a bad character I mean mm -hmm. I think that you are talking about the adjective uh -huh, but you need to mention that the adjective as well. Okay. Adjective. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes, I think I think like you that this is uh, depend. It, it depends of the of the of the, the personality mm -hmm. and okay. the subject of the that you get advice okay but is i is i still uh, think it uh, is very important to get advice from the other people mm -hmm. i asked somebody what where where you get that form or analyze the information the data i i want to 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 get you a spark in in your brain <laughs> okay mm -hmm. and the number three why is sometimes difficult to accept, accept advice Tony mm -hmm. maybe I don't know, maybe... Okay, in my opinion, mm -hmm. I think first, sometimes it could be very difficult to accept advice. It depends on your mentality and your personality, too. Because if you are a person sometimes rule, it's difficult to get advice. Uh, but if you are maybe flexible, you, you probably accept your error or probably your you accept your different advice. Uh, I think it's very difficult to accept uh, for the personality, I think. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think... Mm -hmm. Tony, Tony, go ahead. I think that the... If the... Okay, if you get advice, you need to know if the other person need or accept the advice. If you only go to get advice, if the person don't ask you for oh. help, 
is so difficult that the other person accept your advice. But if one person go to go with you and say, eh, I have a problem and need one advice, is more receptively to uh, accept your your uh, your word, your your um no sé como consejos bueno, advice? Consejos, your advice is more is more accessible to uh, have open mind to listen to you uh -huh. this is the principal way that I, I think that that the advice is accepted or not uh -huh. well I think um, also depend for the personality Many people, um, I don't know, um, have the um, the ego, and when yeah, many people uh, ask me or or tell me uh, something, I think um, I don't know. Um, sometimes I I could be things uh, I. Uh, much better for the other people and I don't accept uh, some advices or it depends for the what is the kind of, of, of opinion because man, also many people only talk uh, uh, about the one situation and, and sometimes don't think what is safe for the for the other people yeah. only i don't know only only says only talk uh, some ideas mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's another way to to see the the um, the complex of give and receive advice yeah Okay, the number um, in in this in this um, small room uh, I saw Mahira, but I, I oh yes no she's up. not there. Okay, okay. What are some of the most important decisions young people have? To... Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, I case uh, in my case is it difficult because uh, the person. It's not living the situation of the other person, but I, I, I listen uh, uh, my parents because uh, they have lived. Bastante, ¿cómo se dice? They have lived. They have lived a lot. A lot of a lot. They have lived a lot. Uh, or this, uh, see, the, this uh, yes. advice for my party, for me, mm -hmm. is better. The other one. Okay. What are some of the most important decisions young people have to make? Carla, important. Important. <laughs> mm, important. important. Yes. Important. Okay. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> uh -huh. Maybe the career? Uh, yeah. When I when I uh, marry going? When I got married when I got got married. When I got married. Okay. And the other one when a uh, decision changed. The war. When I change uh, uh, the war. 
Cuando uh -huh. cambian de trabajo. When they change, okay. When they their change. job, their job. Yeah. Their job, their job, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah their job. But okay. when I young, when we young was... When I was young, young? When I was young, uh, maybe the career. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Because no all young people have get married, <laughs> maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or okay. If, if a study or or a start a uh, work, a start job, start job or start a study. Okay, maybe education and career, right? That one is a, a, an important decision. Also, um, another important decision is um, maybe future goals, right? The future goals that you may have when you are young, future goals. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> also, also, guys, a, a really important and um, I would say difficult decision, okay, that young people uh, need to make and take is personal values and beliefs. Yes. Yes, because there is a point where your mom and dad cannot control what you think, cannot control what you do. So it's your own decision. Personal values and beliefs. Also, yeah. uh -huh, independence and responsibilities, right? Mm -hmm. In their relationship. Their relationship. The relationship, yes. It's very important. In my case, I remember when I was uh, young, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of my partners, uh, they um, they become in bad people. Oh. Some of them are die or 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 some or another in the jail <laughs> right now. <laughs> okay, my. <laughs> Okay, mm -hmm. so you see, yes, young people they they have to make decisions. Young people sometimes. That's why, uh, well, uh, in this case, parents, right? They need to teach their kids. Uh huh. From the very beginning. So they don't take bad decisions at the end. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, next. <laughs> Carla, do you agree that parents should make important decisions for their children? Mm -hmm. uh, this is important to to, to um, be together of our sons, of the young people that uh, we love or that we we'll like to 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 um, to bring and and um, and advices um, and talk frontally and with the truth about the feelings, the the senses and the emotions with totally franqueza, with totally um, be honest. With totally, with totally, thank you, with totally, totally honest to um, give the best um, the, the or to to choose the best way to have a better decisions uh, uh, we forgot about the financial decision because the young people are not a good uh, um 
administrators of the money and they need to have a good um good culture uh, of saving money and especially to to make decisions or to take decisions that uh is complementary let them uh, have a good license uh driving license or to uh, learn a second or third language uh, that this type of decision are so difficult and all not all the young boys or the, all the young girls um are agree with the fathers right now and it is so difficult to 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 be a good father or to be a good friend with them. Yes. yes. Parents. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Parents. Uh, Tony. Parents. 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 Okay. Okay. Having good par parents. Okay. Good parents. Okay. They need to develop a good score, Tony. Bad a good score. score. I, I don't understand your, your answer. When you talk your about the, uh, get to be a, a good administrator for his money, her, his, yes, his money. Mm -hmm. she, in, in my case, in, in the case. No, no, no. Case. In the example you, you talk about. Yes. Um, we, we, um, uh, nosotros enseña, we learn to our uh, two sons. Oh no, to, we teach, we teach. Wow, sorry, this is dependent. We teach yes. to our sons um, to have a, a culture of saving money. And uh, an example is when uh, I give them to the mesada. Se me acaba de olvidar como decir mesada. The, the money Allow they... Allowances? Allowances, okay. Yes. The allowances. Um, they, um, the, the, mm -hmm. Let me let me say by another way or by another form or simply. Um, the contract with them is you get you 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 receive this money to your to your candies, uh, or like, like a colloquial form to say to your necessities, but all the the um, the text, the books, the pencils, or, or the necessities of the college or the university are covered by our, our parents. This is for your administration and you get the money uh, and use um, that you think that is the best way to, uh, to buy another thing that you need and that fathers don't gonna to to buy you like um, uh, maybe uh, if, if you need a, a watch, I don't buy a watch for them. Uh, they use her money. And in, in this case, they saving all the, 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 the money for this uh, objective. And it, this is the best way that um, teach the, the young people to have a, uh, an objective or an uh, goal in the future. And this is the one option, the, the option that we choose, but have another option. It, it depends uh, to uh, the the quantity of money, that, the quantity of money that you give to your sons. This is an example. Mm -hmm. And it's all difficult. And you know, all, all the, the, the people uh, have this culture or this um, Esta custom, this custom, no, no, it's custom. Custom, yes. There's the custom. Okay. Yes, the custom. custom. Mm -hmm. I think the second thing is, is as well right now. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, what do you think about uh, Jorge Antonio Jonathan? Go. Are you there, George and Jonathan? Yes, sir. Oh, Jonathan. Yes. Okay.
Um, okay. If you don't have another um, idea for this topic, we going to move to the third topic. It is better to make a decision thinking about what you want or thinking about what the other people want. No. <laughs> It is better to make a decision thinking about what you want or thinking about what other people want. Uh, uh, the correct, I think, for is, me, uh -huh. is a uh, made decision thinking about what. I want, want, yeah, yeah. But cool. in uh, sometimes uh, we take decision thinking about uh, what other people say or think about the uh -huh. or for me, for example. <laughs> Yeah. What the better is decision thinking about what I want. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For me, I not necessarily take the decision of the other person because uh, it's my life. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> it's my life. Yeah. Uh, okay. But uh, I don't. I I I don't take a decision the other person. Okay, <laughs> Maurice. And when you go to your wife and eat some. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Mario. Yes, yeah. <laughs> it's my life. He's <laughs> a unique person. I I hear I hear his I hear him. As yes, I hear uh, her. I hear her. Touch, mm -hmm. okay. Mayra. <laughs> and you, Mayra? Yes, in some in some in some case, I think uh about the other people. For example, when go to eat something, or or we choose a restaurant. But in in another case, it's very important uh, in focus in focus on my in focus. On um, I want it. I on what I on what I want. On what I want. On what I want. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you listen to others, Mayra. Yes. Yes, I listen the opinion or advice. Okay. Okay. And what about you, Carla? Oh, <laughs> I I think it's very made decision. One important decision. Uh -huh. uh, thinking about what you, what I want. Uh -huh. But uh, stay, Myra. <laughs> uh -huh. As Myra said. As Mayra said, uh, for example, restaurant or, or something I eat, uh, I answer okay. <laughs> and listen. The, but important decision, I think, is only, only what I think. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. And you, Emerson? Well, in my case, um... When this is the uh, personal decision, I am uh, one of the, those people who think that making decision based on wishes the other person 
it's not a good mm -hmm. because it's, it's your decision. Mm -hmm. How do you say Mauricio is it's my life? Okay. <laughs> It's my life. Okay, Maris. <laughs> and yes, Emerson. Okay. And what about you, Jonathan? Jonathan is here, okay? Uh, yes. Hey, okay. I was talking uh, with the last another team about okay. that question. Uh, mm -hmm. I was talking, for example, you should take a decision for others and you buy a luxury car, for example. Mm -hmm. At the beginning, it would be amazing, but uh in the future only you will suffer the consequences that's why you have to take your position and you have to to do that that you want but obviously uh under your responsibility but at the end you need to take the decision right yes at the end of, of course you have to take uh, the best decision Okay, depending on what we want. Yes, guys. Actually, that's life, right? We need to take our own decisions, but we need to hear others sometimes, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, continue, guys. Very good. Or, um, agree for the other people. Yeah, uh, it's not um, recommendable. The decision is yours for you and for your best weight or or the best situation for you or, or, or your parents, I don't know. It's so easy to be complaining. No sé si se dice complaining. It's easy to be um, agree with, with the other people in, uh, thinking about the decision. But the most important is uh, what um, consequence in your happiness. Uh, uh, yes, of course. What is the consequence of the decisions? And the decision is as well good for you or for the other. It is good for the others and not good for you. Uh, you need to think hard. To what is the object to, to take this decision? It is better. When yeah. you think about your necessities and that you want. In this case, I think that you need to think about you first that the other person. What is your country famous for? Famous for, I think, famous in for. this moment, is famous for, your for president. The <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, everybody talking about the person, and I don't know why. But... Um, oh, oh, uh, for me, I, I think my, my, my country is uh, has a, a beautiful beach, I don't know, the beautiful <laughs> mountains and volcanoes. Is, yeah, volcanoes, yeah. oh, yeah, volcano, and okay. um, the country. Their country uh, is many modern uh, compare the Salvador with the Korea is yeah. very different, but they like country the Salvador. I think. Uh, uh, they love uh, the landscapes, mm -hmm. <laughs> the landscape and the the place are near. And if I want, I want to go to a beach and then go to a mountain in the same day. <laughs> So everything is near, right? Everything is near. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think that we have a, a beautiful country. But I think uh, the country is famous for the pupusas. <laughs> for the buses? Ah, pupusas. For pupusas. <laughs> ah. 
Yes, the country is famous for pupusa. I think that, yes, right. And nowadays that uh, the other team was mentioning that um, the country is famous for the president. Mm. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe, right. Yeah. Maybe. 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 And these years, uh... I think it's more popular. Uh, popular. That oh, is true. Bitcoin. Bitcoins. That is true. In Spain, in Spain, I, I saw a video uh -huh. and mentioned uh, a lot the country for Bitcoin. But all the comment was uh, we don't use <laughs> many bitcoins. <laughs> okay. So all of those comments were not good. I mean, uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Mm hmm. All right. What? <laughs> okay. Uh, Tell me why. The, the cold weather for me is the cold weather because the I, I weather. can't. Yeah, because the cold I can't. weather like in El Salvador between yes. November and, and January. No, in, in, in my country. In more country. Okay. okay. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Be it's between because I can't. Because, to, to because I, I, I can't drink uh, very fast and, and I don't know better. Coffee. Uh, yeah. And right, <laughs> not right, right, right now. The, that, that. the hot chocolate. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, okay. you have the, the many many forms to handle with 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 that kind of weather. You you have a colcha, you have coffee, you have <laughs> colcha. How do you say colcha in English? <laughs> a blanket. <laughs> a blanket. No, it's blanket. colcha. No, en El Salvador es colcha. Es colcha, tío. Cobija. Ah, okay, una cobija, ok. Ok, yes, cobija. Ok. Mm, in El Salvador, the best weather is in December. In December, and it's the cold weather. Why? Because uh, when I was a young, too long time ago, um. I enjoyed the the um, the wide sky at night in mm -hmm. La Palma, Chalatenango, because you don't have any type of clothes, and the universe and and the cosmos was very the, the most beautiful pictures in my mind that I remember, and the cold was very very uh, cool. Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, because I uh, have uh, uh, many times in in, in my in my um, grand, grandpa's house in, in La Palma uh, that I uh, um, like to 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 go out of the house and uh, rest or or I don't know if it's the correct way to say acostarme en el suelo rest in the in the floor yes. and sit in the sky. I I love what the sky is is like that because I I have the opportunity to take a good picture about uh from the Via Lactea. Uh -huh, exactly, exactly. Ah, well, in in the time that I was young, uh, in in this in in this town in, in La Palma, not, not in the principal town, is in a um um canton. I I don't know say what what do you say canton. Canton in English, um, but in the Canton, uh, we don't have energy, we don't have electricity, and the only way that you have, um, uh, um, that you can see something is with the, with one candle or with one candil or, or lamp. The candil is a, a, a bottle with a perforated hole in the in the top when you have a mecha I, I don't know how to say a mecha and with gas into in uh, the they can have gas into 
and one mecha the the the, the tela and you put up the phosphor in the in, in the upper pan and the upper and they light it's, it's candil um i don't know how how to translate or how to explain that uh, mm -hmm. candil lampara and candles this is the only mm -hmm. way and it's old cloud old 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 <laughs> dark you 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 like to to put your finger in the flame of candil candil ah yeah you 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 can play uh, figures with the with the light and the and the shadows in in okay. the in the yo pasaba el dedo encima de la llama porque <laughs> Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, mecha, you can say it uh, weak. Weak. O sea, John, Wick, John Wick is John Mecha. Juan Mecha. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> okay. Una, 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 una mecha de tela, a fabric uh, weak. Weak. Um, uh -huh. A fabric wick. A candle, candle. Candle. But candle is candela. But it's the same uh, translation for candle. But you mean the place where you put the, the, the candle? Or what is, let me see. Candle, carretera del salón. No sé si esto. Sonita, bien las lámparas. Las lámparas de, de, de estas, las Coleman, que usaban camisas. Mm, no, but this one is the candle. Um, no, that is, uh, was that um, made of oil? I mean. No, it's kerosene. Uh -huh. This one is the, I, I, I use it in my, in, in my house, of the grandpa's house. Because uh, it's a, a bottle, a metallic bottle of uh, brakes fluid for cars. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the tap. Yes. The tap, we need to, to uh, make a hole in, in the middle and you use the, the wick mm -hmm. uh, uh, to, to, to trespass the 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 top and all the long wick are into the into the bottle and you fill the bottle with gas gas mm -hmm. no gasoline or diesel it's gas i think the teacher is so young mm -hmm. <laughs> yes i'm like like thinking all of the things that you say right like okay i got it <laughs> okay no it's okay but okay so uh, traspasar, you can say like pass through. Pass through, okay. Through. Pass through the 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 tap. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is a, a a few example of week. Okay, yes. Um, no, I mean this one, the ones that I sent. Oh no, you are showing me. Uh huh. The the the, the, ah. the kind of week is okay. like a corbu. Yes. Okay. I was agree with Luis Miguel. Our teacher is too <laughs> young. It's too okay. young. I'm like thinking about all of your examples, right? And I was like, okay. <laughs> yes. I, 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 I share with you two pictures. Two pictures I take. Okay. Ah, so, to the sky. Like that yes. was so beautiful. If you have completely dark in at night, it's it's better to take these pictures. I I remember that that the sky is so so sparkly uh, at night in 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 the in the December's nights, and was beautiful. I think you need to to travel to to La Palma in this week in the next yeah. next week. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a very good pictures. <laughs> 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 
next. Do you, do you enjoy your job and why? Do you enjoy your job, guys? Nobody. Yeah. Else. Uh, <laughs> My God. Okay. Yeah. Silence. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what happened? Nobody. Uh, yes. I enjoy the job. Nobody. Yeah. Not complex. Huh? Uh, in my case, I like my job. Okay. okay. Uh, because, uh, because uh, I este company eh, is very respetuoso, ¿cómo se dice esto? Respectful. Online. Uh -huh. Respectful with uh, uh, los work, workers. With uh, the workers, yes. The workers. Eh, y is very transparent mm -hmm. and uh, take the decision with uh, pay with uh, people. Okay. It's, I like it, this company. No I, want, <laughs> I want to send my CV for Maurice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Maurice, uh, do you work uh, with uh, Korean people? Or... Yes. Oh. Yes. He uh, work Korean people in the company. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, because I learn in English, but communicate, 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 Communication. No, communicarme. Communicate. Communicate mm -hmm. with with us. With us. Mm -hmm. Con ellos para comunicarme con ellos. With them. With them. With them. With them. Okay. 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 Well, I enjoy my I enjoy my job. Is a uh, because the clients are good person. <laughs> okay. And the uh, I don't know. I only the travel. How is it? I always... We are we are only two persons. <laughs> really? Yes. Oh, that's why. But I, mean... uh -huh. I think it's cool because it's near for my house. <laughs> it's near my house. It's near my house. Uh -huh. And in Museria. Thank you. Oh, it, it is uh, really relaxing. I think it's not relaxing, but... The... <laughs> <laughs> it is like quiet, I mean... Uh -huh. Quiet, quiet. Okay, maybe. quiet, okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. In my case, um, right now, more, more or less. Mm -hmm. Because I really wish I work alone. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because my my partners are so um how do you say despistada or descuidada? Forgetful. Forgetful. Like despistada. Uh -huh. Um, uh -huh. It's really difficult for me work together. <laughs> ah, you can also say uh, clueless, clueless. Clueless. Para decir como despistadas, cuando alguien es despistado, clueless. Uh -huh. 
Ah, okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. And you, Emerson? It's a difficult question. <laughs> oh my God, Emerson. Uh, so I I enjoyed my job mm -hmm. because I will have an opportunity to learn about the uh, many tools mm -hmm. and the performance test because I, I am an uh, in quality inspector. I, I work to testing product mm -hmm. for USA and Europe and sometimes the last week we work in, in test performance for the product from from China. Okay. It's, it's interesting. My it's, job is interesting. Okay. That is good. Okay. All right. Let's go back to the main room, guys, because it's almost time. Okay. okay. Yes. Okay. Let's go back. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Mayra, do you think patience is important? Patience? Uh -huh. Do you think patience is important? Um, yes. Why? Um, because um, it's very easy to For example, when I I love my job, when I love uh, learn some idiom. My gosh, um, teacher! I'm sorry, Tony. Oh my God! Okay, <laughs> sorry, Tony. Yes. Okay, Mayra, continue. Mm -hmm. Why is patience important? Why? The meaning is passion, right? Oh no, patience. No, no patience is yeah. paciencia. Ah, sorry. Don't worry. Uh, um, it's very difficult, okay. but it's very important because um, we understand the situation to another people. Okay. In my case, I don't. <laughs> I don't patient enough. But you don't have patience enough. Uh -huh. But I try. <laughs> but you try, really? <laughs> you seem to be a really patient uh, person. Mm. But no, maybe no, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Or a little bit, maybe. And um, yes, a little bit. Uh -huh. Carla, do you enjoy your job, Carla? Yeah. <laughs> okay, why do you enjoy your job? Why? Mm, because it's quiet. Mm -hmm. But not relaxing. <laughs> not relaxing, okay. <laughs> and and it's near from it's near house. It's near my house, okay. It's near my house and Is I permit to uh, use my imagination? <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the clients are so are good, very good. Very good. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Excellent. All right, guys. Before we go, okay. So just don't forget to complete the platform, to finish the platform, the ones that probably have not worked on that. Okay, don't forget about that. Then if you don't have any question related to the class guys with the topic, no, no questions? Okay, guys, try to study, okay? 
third conditional. If you don't have any question, I'll see you back tomorrow. Okay, I hope you have a good night. Take care and I'll see you back tomorrow. Thank you for connecting, guys. Bye bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Okay, rest. Good night. Okay. Teacher. Yes. I want to stay with you a few minutes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, Luis Miguel. Here we go. Tell me. Tell me. Tell what, me what, what happened. What do you What do you need? No. Uh, okay. Tell me. I need I need help, teacher. Really. I really I try to to do all the exercises in the platform, but I have problem. Mm -hmm. I still have problem. Let me see what is the exercise. I yes. just login in the platform. Let me see. Okay. It's only one question. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. Let me see where is. Okay. Let me see, Luis Miguel. Oh, yes, it's only one question because you're almost ah, done. It's here. Yes, it, I is the number exercise number 2.11. 2.11. Give me one second. Yes. Let me let me see. is a number four they say the marketing department hasn't in the parentheses is created an interest i i write the marketing department department hasn't create interesting products um yeah, I know what that is. Okay, the marketing department hasn't. Luis Miguel. Okay, tell me the the, the answer that you added again. The permanent hasn't create interest product. Okay, so no, it should be the marketing department hasn't yes. created yes. enough. Yes, we Mm -hmm. With he yes. enough enough okay. it's enough interest. E, what about the product? The la palabra product. Mm. But number four. Okay, is the marketing department hasn't created enough interest, interest in product or no, only you... interest? Just interest, but I don't see any product on that sentence. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Luis Miguel. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. It's probably the, the hour. The last <laughs> night I tried to do this. Okay, okay I don't finished. Worry. Excellent. All right. So do you have any other question? It, only that, teacher. Okay. Good night. Right. Thank Good night. you. Take care. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.